you may refer problem number 9, he treats like that, sin squared 5 degrees plus sin squared 10 degrees, sin squared 15 degrees plus sin squared 9 degrees, that is plus etc, etc, finally sin squared 90 degrees, you are asked to evaluate this value. This problem is ridiculously simple, if you remember cos squared theta plus sin squared theta is equal to 1. And how you are going to combine it is very easy. Sin squared phi degrees plus, there I will write sin squared, say 85 degrees. Because these two when combined, this will be 90. This I will change, say sin squared 90 minus phi theta. That will be cos squared phi theta. Therefore, this will be equal to say 1 as a matter of fact. And next also I will combine like that sin squared 10 degrees plus there you will be having I will combine say sin squared 80 degrees and this also will be cos squared 10 degrees is equal to say 1. Similar manner you combine all those things here finally I will get say sin squared 40 degrees plus sin squared say 50 degrees this will be cos squared 40 will be equal to say 1 then I will be left over with sin squared 45 separately. Then lastly, I will be say sin squared say 90. And all these terms, there are many terms are here, will accrue to say 8. There will be 8 such pairs will be there. Therefore, 8 plus sin 45 is equal to 1 by root 2. Sin squared is there 1 by 2. Lastly, sin 90 is equal to 1. So, this will be say 9 and half. Or choice 3 is correct.